What's up, MOC? What's going on, members on the community? I'm gonna call, I'm gonna shorten it up. MOC, hope all is well with you guys. This is a MOC affair, always. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, North Node. Wherever you have any place in this in your chart, this collective for y'all. I love you guys. Hope all is well. All right, guys, let's get into it. Spirit guys, angels. Probably need to see from the numbers on the collective. Any clear, concise messages for my MOC. Clear, concise messages for my MOC. Alright. Let's see. First energy on the bottom of the deck is shadow work. Yeah, so somebody's going through a little tough situation here. Feels like all is lost. Feel like you're left alone or somebody abandoning you. But I feel like that's where, right where God wants you right now. That's what Source wants you right now. It's time for you to clean your shit up. Whatever this is. If this is addictions. If this is codependency on a person, a connection, a job. God wants you to see past the nose on your face, MOC. Okay? Period. What else here? Yeah, redemption. This is about redemption. Number 29 and 27 could be very significant here. But Source is trying to redeem you, MOC. They're trying to pour back into you. Obviously, whoever this... I'm hearing air sign. Heavy air sign. Whoever this person is, they... I feel like this person just... You know, they, they pretty much drain the living fucking life out of you to the point where it made you do some type of introspection but I feel like the introspection turns into you um falling in love with yourself again knowing who you are showing yourself approved when you show up the whole you showing up I love it energy shift number 12 yes yeah, about to be a total I'm hearing energy shift but I'm hearing shift just period in your life for the better I feel like God is just blessing you. Why? Because you're a divine being here. Something about you, no matter what, where you've been in your life or where you are right now, MOC, something about you is identifying or or what should I say? Not identifying. Something about you and the frequency of a divine being is what's going on. You're being heard on levels that you haven't even gotten there yet. This was preordained, predestined, I just heard. Oh, glory. This is something that um, had nothing to do with you. This is something Source did before <laughs> you were, uh, 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 what does it say, a uh, twinkle in your father's eye. Give me some more messages on this. But your energy is shifting. Why? Because your frequency is. You're vibrating on a totally different level now, MOC, and you have to. Because now you're not playing catch up. The deadline has already passed. All right, it's your divine being that allows you access after the grace period has gone. Hey, glory. How many of y'all know that God will make a way for your gifts? That's just what I heard. Don't matter where you at in your life, you're about to see a shift. A paradigm shift, I just heard. Whatever the fuck that means. And the first energy out is strength. Nobody else can do what God purposed you to do because God equipped you with everything you need for that task. Okay, so if you're off your purpose or off your task, God is, finna, God is about to give you a new perspective because I feel like all you need to do is change your mind about some type of situation or just change your mind about you and you're not wanting to be in this situation again. Your first car is shadow work. You're going through some shit right now. But what I love about it, it, MOC, is you actually know what to do. It's not like you, you know, you went through whatever this is and, and you have on these rose colored glasses and you don't know who's who. You know who everybody is around you. And you knew that they were using you. Okay. But what you also know in the middle of your reading is that redemption comes from source. What you knew was you would be vindicated one day. Why? Because the energy shift. You you felt this energy shift. The next um, energy out is loyalty. Absolutely. Because see, it's it's about it's about somebody underestimating um 
your perseverance. See, your perspective was off, but but your work ethic and your perseverance is something about you, MOC, that makes you want to just continue to keep striving no matter what it looks like. Yeah, what is it? It's your confidence. Because I feel like we got into a place, all of us, and I need to start speaking from a place of you already doing this self-help, this self-reflection. Um, you going within and getting your shit together. Right? Because I feel like when you start from that place, when you start from a heal place, I feel like other stuff just won't come into play. It can't. And then the overall energy on the bottom of the deck is playful. Yeah, I, I just feel like you're in a dark place right now. MOC. With shadow work being your first energy here. But I'm hearing you're going to break out of that. Let's see. Let's get straight to the chaser really quick. See what's going on. If you see if your spirit guides have any additional oracles for you. Or just to see what, what's the word on the streets. What are people saying? It says you need new friends or no friends. You've elevated and they haven't. I can't make this shit up. See, that shadow work, it's going to put you in a totally different space than you were in before. The, the, the people, it, it's, okay, what I'm saying is, with this perspective, with God changing your perspective, it's like now, shit just got to make sense. It's like, you know, I'm not going to try to see it through. I'm not going to play the scenario over in my mind. When it's pitched to MOC, it, it has to make sense. Or, or, or it stops right there. The book stops right there. So you know you need a whole community, so the, so the source. And because of your strength, your gifts, your loyalty, and your confidence, God is getting ready to do that. Hold on, school. Hold on, MOC. Sorry about that, MOC. It says if you need to lie about it, you shouldn't do it. So, so somebody feels like, you know, I feel like this is portrayal. I feel like this is malicious gossip. I feel like these are people who are supposed to be your friends behind your back spreading, spreading rumors saying you don't fuck with them no more. And I feel like they, they're sharing things about you that they knew from your dark time. So you know this is not your friend. This, in other words, somebody telling all your motherfucking business out here in these streets and they supposed to be somebody who down for you? Like, what the fuck? Why is your heart so cold? Because, bitch, I got to be. MOC, your heart got to be cold in these times. When I say cold, I mean cold to everything except you. Because you need laser focus right now. One more here. Of course, three fell out. It says, you claim to hate gossip, yet you constantly spread it. See, it's just what I said. Somebody spread, somebody just telling all your fucking business, MOC. And they're lying and saying they're doing this shit because you started it first. No. Nah. MOC don't give a fuck about no rumors or what you saying about their past. Why? Because their past is only that, a past. And God is not God is not elevating you because of your past. God is elevating you because of what he purposed you to do here on earth. And there's no stopping that shit. It says you did something foul to your friend and you should apologize. No, that bitch need to apologize to me. And better yet, she can keep that shit or he. I don't want it. I got a new set of friends or no friends, solo dolo. It says someone close to you is living a lie because you're judgmental. Oh, well. And I feel like, I feel like with that, I feel like that's a cop out. I feel like that's somebody who, who is judgmental. Why? Because they're spreading rumors about shit that's supposed to be kept amongst friends. Why? Because you were very loyal to this person. This person could depend on you for any and everything. So why wasn't it reciprocated? Because you need new motherfucking friends. You need friends that are playful. People who are going in the same direction you going in, MOC. Not people who, you know, out to gain. Because that's what I'm getting from this. Whoever's surrounding you right now, that, that's all they're surrounding you for gain. And the overall energy says, all you do is whine and complain so they keep their distance. But really what you're doing is speaking your truth. And it's like a fucking bug repellent because some motherfuckers just don't like the truth. Some folks allergic to the truth. And that's just the bottom fucking line. And I can't make this show. Let's get a love um, oracle really quick. Yeah, somebody just... they It ain't it ain't like they spreading rumors. It is malicious gossip. What they're saying is true, but it's like, damn. I know shit about you, but see, they know you loyal. They know even if they do you like this MOC, you still ain't going to um, give up the goods. And you're not. But the, but you're going to get a whole other set of friends. They're going to miss you when you're gone. Ain't no sunshine when she gone. 
what I'm hearing. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits when you forgive your parents. Yeah, you could be dealing with some type of abandonment issues or I just feel like you weren't hugged enough. <laughs> MOC, that's just what I that's just what I want to energetically say. I feel like your parents love you, but I just feel like they weren't affectionate because their parents wasn't. It says worth waiting for, divine timing is at work in your love life. And you have unrequitable love here. So somebody is trying to return, but the romantic feelings are gone. You don't feel the same. I feel like too, this person went and really got their shit together. But the purpose of y'all being together was for them to get their shit together. So the mission, the assignment is over. And now it's safe for you to love, MOC. It says, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all here. And then the overall energy on the bottom of the deck is chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Yeah, so I just really feel like you're meeting someone new. Because I feel like you took your time to really do this shadow work. I feel like it was very smart, MOC, that you didn't drag anybody into this bullshit with you, okay? You took this shit like a G. You like, hey, ain't nobody. I don't need nobody to go through this shit. I know where I'm at in my life, and I know what I need to do. I've done it before. This time, it happens quicker. That's what I'm hearing. It don't take a lifetime now. You already did that time. <clears throat> and I feel like whoever is um, claiming to stay away from you because you complain too much... I feel like that's that's steps being ordered. This person has been ordered to stay the fuck away from you and they don't even know it. Why? Because you're a di divine being. You're not just right for anybody's fucking picking. You know, you need access to you is what I'm saying. It's not just a, you're not letting people into your energy like that anymore. Just because they want to be. Just because they like how you look or how you smell or, you know, they see the healing on you. They know you're loyal, confident. It's like, nah. I ain't fucking with it. If it's not healthy, if it's not whole, if it's not moving forward, I don't, MOC don't want shit to do with it. First energy out is the ten of, ten of Swords. So on that, you need new friends or no friends. I feel like you're just ending a lot of connections right now that don't serve you. It don't matter who the fuck it is. If it's, if it, you know, it's almost like, you know, people... People, sometimes people just need to say they hoarders of spirits and people and energy. Just like people who put so much shit in their garages till they can't even put their car in there and they still buy more shit. This is a fucking disease and you like, I, I don't know if it's you that, that's, you know, doing this shit. If, if that's your shadow work, collecting energy and spirits just trying to find a feel. Or this is this, this person or this situation that you leave behind. You ending that shit. Nobody's sucking the, the gifts out of you no more. Yeah, look. The three of swords in reverse. You 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 done done. Period. <laughs> the three of swords in reverse and the ten of swords. You're releasing all things that are not pertinent to, to where you're going. I feel like you understand your calling now, MOC. I feel like the more you release, the more you see people. Look, the three of wands. Whether near or far, I feel like you're seeing people for who they are. People are thinking you're waiting for your ships to come in, but that's not what you're doing. You're doing shadow work. And in the process, God is beginning to reveal things to you. The chariot. I feel like God is honoring you, MOC. I feel like God is, is trying to set you aside. At the same time, break a yoke, though. It's something that needs to be broken. It's something that... It's, it's something... It's almost like a spiritual curse, but not a generational curse. If you need to lie about, about something, you shouldn't do it. I'm hearing strongholds are being broken. Yeah, there it is, the will of fortune. Strongholds are being, bro are being broken. Something is, something is working behind the scenes in your favor. And what Source is doing is trying to get this to you, trying to get you to get on that turn. Yeah, the King of Pentacles, a lot of stability coming in. I'm hearing too that somebody is admiring you from afar, but somebody really, I feel like whoever this is, it's like they really got a good perspective of you. Like they really, 
they really get you even though this is I don't know this person is in your energy but they don't feel like they're in your energy yeah the nine of wands this is somebody kind of stand off his um, MOC but they're watching you they're watching to see how you move with the chariot here like they're trying to see what type of dude or what type of woman you are like they they fishing you out like because they heard all these rumors they want to know is it true Look, the world card, mm -mm, it ain't true. They realize it ain't true. They realize somebody is actually lying on you. And I feel like the, with the hair for here, this is somebody who wants to move closer towards you. But they kept listening to the bullshit. And now they see that it was bullshit. The only thing that saves this person, because I feel like this is your new person coming in. This is your new person. Because I feel like it, it, it gets pretty deep with you guys. But I feel like the biggest thing with this person was because you're in a place, Scorpio, where you're not in the energy of letting people just take all your energy, your gifts, your so just suck all your, all your shit up, that suck up his energy. This person is just kind of like chilling. I feel like, too, this person probably been through a divorce. They've had uh, marriage counseling, divorce counseling. Like this person is very emotionally in, uh, mature and in tune with their feelings. It says, why is your heart so cold? Because ain't nobody warmed it up. That's all. That's the only reason. Nobody's been there to warm it up. And we're not going to scratch nothing if it don't fucking itch. And we're not laughing if it's not funny. That's just that on fucking that. Your, car so, your heart is so cold because of six of cups. Motherfuckers from your past don't want you to forget your past. Keep bringing it up. Keep trying to belittle you. The king of swords in reverse. Malicious gossip. Somebody who got it in for you. Somebody you told the truth about. And now they feel scorned and they want revenge and all this shit. But they're not going to get revenge. Why? Because you never fuck with your past. The past is the past. That's just how you see that shit. And with the Prince of Pentacles, it's like this person trying you like you a little girl or a little boy or something. Like like, like this shit ain't even, yeah, the devil. This this shit ain't even like, it ain't good. It ain't good. It ain't, it ain't good material. <laughs> It don't motherfucking, like, from at the gate you clocking this. The devil and the princess. Of, this is somebody who tried to take advantage of somebody younger than them, too. This is somebody who promised somebody something. And instead of what, instead of giving them what they promised, they gave them, like, some type of fucking, I don't know, curse or some type of, like, it's almost like you, like a pimp. First, they try to date them, right? Make them think they the main girl and all that and that. Now you doing you doing all this stuff in the meantime to the point where you don't where you feel like you have no reference of return back to self like you this person they created bitch fuck you that devil energy somebody obsessed with you the ace of pentacles they obsessed with you and your money <laughs> it says you claim to hate gossip yet you constantly spread it more fucking lies. This is somebody trying to throw a rock and hide a hand. And while they doing that shit, you studied fucking, you studied fucking spiritual hopping. You still winning with the fool card. You don't even know this stuff going on because you, you, you continue, you keep your head forward. You keep your head forward. Only time your head down MOC is when you praying to God. Yeah, there you go, the eight of cups. You had sense enough to walk towards something that was bigger than you at the time. The two of cups, what was bigger than you? You doing your shadow work? You loving on yourself? Because God knew that was the recipe. Source knew that's what you needed. The Prince of Swords is here. It's almost like, it's almost like, I keep hearing baby steps, like God is breastfeeding you now. I don't know what this is. Some of you guys could be getting back into the word, reading the Bible, going to church, Bible study I'm here. Some of y'all could be rededicating your life back to Christ with the five of wands in reverse. It's like you tired of running from what you know or something like that I'm getting. Yeah, somebody's reverting back or some shit like that. <laughs> you did something foul and what does it say? And you should apologize. Alright, so the eight of swords is coming up in the reverse. I feel like it almost feels like somebody is mad at you for wisening up. Like somebody mad at you for getting smart. <laughs> Somebody's mad at you for bringing harmony back in your life. For bringing your shit back together. Single handedly when everybody left you for dead. All the people you were loyal to. All the people you gave to. When you, when you needed that shit they were gone. But I'm going to tell you something. 
It's a reason behind it. God couldn't bless no mess. And he definitely was not going to bless you in the midst of all these people that want to suck you dry. Yeah, the nine of pentacles. So I feel like God separated you from everybody, MOC. Why? Because you're the alchemist. It's, it's almost like saving you from yourself. You, you can no longer do the things you used to do. You can no longer go the same places you used to go. It's almost giving me like celebrity status with the ten of cups here. It's like... You walk into a happiness of unknown. It it almost feels to me, MOC, like something just happens. It, it feels like you didn't even, all you did was get your shit together. And it seemed like once you did that, it's like a whole world opened up. Yeah, the Six of Pentacles. I just feel like the universe is gifting you for being loyal, for standing on, for standing in your power. For, you know, not faltering when it comes to that. But at the same time, knowing that you needed shadow work. Why? Because of all the hard work you just completed. That's why. Yeah, the Princess of Cups. I feel like this new love is coming in with the Princess of Cups. I feel like this is somebody who likes to date. You know, like, they want to court you, in other words. They don't want to just, like, be on some type of dating site. If you're into dating sites, I feel like that's not how you're going to meet this person. The King of Wands. This is somebody who's hands-on. They're real action-driven. They always, you know, they don't, they don't, they don't, like, per se, count you out because of gossip. But I feel like this person, you know, heard enough to draw their own conclusion about you. And I feel like the more they learn about you, the more, the more they fell in love with you. I feel like by the time you meet this person... Or like they y'all actually come into each other's presence. I feel like this person is already in love with you. Because this feels like somebody in your energy already. Don't feel like nobody who pushed up on you or nothing like that. But this might be somebody at your job or wherever you go frequent saying, hey, how you doing? You know, it's a familiar face, but just you don't know them. All right, moving forward. What's the advice here for the MOC? What's the advice? One more. What's the advice? One more here. What's the advice? So we have um, the Queen of Wands in reverse. Somebody is very pissed that you cut them off. If this is a same-sex connection, your girlfriend pissed the fuck. Like, they can't believe you. Even though they know they had you in a lot of deceptive shit, they just can't believe you up and left them. Like, they, yeah, the Five of Pentacles, like you... You put their ass on ice. Like, for real. You snuck out at night. Look like, yeah, the Ten of Wands. You realized this shit wasn't for you. It was too burdensome. This person was too clingy and fucking evil. And I feel like, too, that's another reason you had to do shadow work. Because this person here tried to do witchcraft. I feel like if you hadn't done the shadow work, MOC, I feel like this person would have died. That's just what I heard. The Two of Swords in Reverse. Had you not made the decision to do this shadow work, whoever this is that's been plotting and planning against you, they would have fucking died. I mean that. What happened though, since you made the right decision, God kept them. God kept them safe with the four pentacles. Or this is you, God kept safe. You have the star on the bottom of the deck. Mm mm. All right, let's lighten it up just a little bit, MOC. Get some some more guided messages here, and we're going to get out of here. I love you guys so much. Like I said, y'all hear Arben in the background. He's sick at home today, y'all. I do apologize. Um, but I'm going to be heavy over here on this membership side, like period. Um, anytime I do face videos, it's going to be over here. I'm not doing, I'm not, I'm just, you know, I'm to a point now where I want to invest in who's investing in me. I want to be there for who's, you know, there for me. Like, right now, I'm doing a lot of personal readings. Like, when I'm not doing this, I'm doing personal readings, guys. So, it's not like, you know, I just, I want to cater to y'all is what I'm trying to say, MOC, because y'all have really been there for me. And that's what I'm pushing. Even, like, the videos that I do for the collective, I'm going to let y'all get them first, 24 hours in advance, and then, boom, they'll go over to the other side. If people want to pour into me like y'all pouring into me, that means they want more of me. It's working. It's, it's the advice is doing what it's supposed to do. Like, I love y'all guys. I appreciate y'all so much. I appreciate y'all checking up on me. 
in my inboxes, y'all telling me, you know, your praise reports. I love y'all. I fuck with you. And that's just that on there. Let's get into this last energy and we'll see we're going to get out of here. It says, it's not everyone else's fault, it's yours. You're a grown-ass adult. Stop blaming, blaming others for your shit. All right. All right, MOC. And then you have rebel, because just fuck it. When it's time to go, it's time to go. You trust God, and that's one thing I know. It say, figure out your own shit. You don't need no help. That's why you did that shadow work. What I love about this is, it's something about access here. It's something about that frequency shift, energy shift. It's something about that that almost kind of like makes you apparent to all the, the star seeds around you. See how those stars are lining up? It's, it's almost like somebody knowing, having a knowing of who you are. Like they when they see MOC, they see help. They see healing. They see nourishment. They see forever. I don't know who this is, but somebody knew. Somebody, somebody got it. <laughs> somebody got it, MOC. Somebody said, you know what? It's Lord, I don't give a fuck what they did in their past life. I'm not judging them on it. If they want to share it with me, fine. But I'm meeting this person right where they're at. Healed and whole. Ooh, I love it. It says you're being shady. Watch out. Shit could get ugly. I just feel like energetically saying, you know, don't hold no gripes. Because cause you're being redeemed. You're, you're, you're being elevated. You're a divine being. Now, you passed the test. It says, you tight ass. Loosen the fuck up, control freaks. Don't get laid. Yeah, let go of control issues, MOC. And then on the bottom of the deck, you have, shit is going down with your job. Reevaluate, change your perspective, or fucking quit. And there you have it. All right, MOC, I love you guys. Make sure y'all get y'all likes and everything up, too, on the member side. Make sure y'all let those ads play just like... You know the other side. I know y'all doing it because I see it. I love you guys and I'll see you on the other side.